It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. America exporting its ideas to the rest of the planet is sometimes a curse and a blessing. A blessing because I guess many people want to know about our culture and we can share a lot about our culture. And sometimes a curse, largely, because if you do something bad, it goes bad for the rest of the world and vice versa. And so there's like a lot of bad stuff that we do and the rest of the world tends to replicate the bad stuff that we do. Let's take for example our whole entire issue about race and racism. Our intoxicating ideas from far left activists has gone all the way far as to Spain about this particular issue about what exactly is racism. For example, let's take this content creator and activist named Ariana Bojo. She says right here that there's confusion between racism and discrimination. Racism is only between white people and black people. Everything else is discrimination at a historical and structural level has demonstrated as such. Before I rebut the claims, let's look at the clips and just see just how bad it is. Porque hay como una confusión entre racismo y discriminación. Uh -huh. Racismo, según la RAE, es la creencia que sostiene la superioridad de un grupo étnico sobre los demás o que conduce a la discriminación o persecución, o persecución social. La discriminación es consecuencia de lo primero. ¿no? Exacto, pero lo que hay que aclarar es que el racismo es la superioridad de las personas blancas sobre las negras, única y exclusivamente. ¿Por qué? Porque por, eh, a nivel histórico y estructural se ha demostrado así. No existe otro tipo de racismo, es solo de blancos a negros. Todo lo demás es discriminación. So many things wrong in so little seconds. Like, where do I even begin with her whole entire claim that racism is only between black people and white people and that everything else must be discrimination? First and foremost, racism is not just between black people and white people. There's actually racism between other black people. It's true, because there are some black people that do judge other black people for talking properly. They will say that if you talk properly in English, that means you're talking white. That's like one example right there. Another aspect is the color of your skin. There are some black people who are racist against other black people for the simple fact that they have a different shade of black than the other person. Like my skin complexion might be judged, or if someone has like a darker skin complexion, it's gonna be judged too. Or if someone's actually lighter, they're gonna be judged too. So also that kind of issue of colorism is placed in our whole entire issue about racism among other black people. Also, during the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, we do know that there have been plenty and plenty of news articles talking about how black people were basically attacking Chinese people. And the main reason why they were attacking Chinese people is because they were thought that they were to blame to make the whole entire coronavirus. And so, yeah, there are plenty of examples of black people being racist against Chinese people during the beginning of the pandemic. She also makes the argumentation that black people have systemically been oppressed. Now, in the context of America, that is obviously true. Obviously, black people have been oppressed in their country. However, when it comes down to the specific context, which is the Spanish Empire, I will make the argumentation that black people in the Spanish Empire had better treatment in comparison to black people underneath the United States. Uh, Juan Latino or Juan de Cesa, he was a teacher and responsible from area of the university. It, it was so famous that the, that the king from Spain said to the University of Granada to make a picture of him because of that, we have this picture. This is our original picture. And he put this uh, picture in his own palace. This is a picture from the palace, the king's palace. And he had a picture from a black people, from a black person in the palace, in the school. Always said that, for example, Spaniards were racist. How it's possible that the king has a picture in the palace from one black person, Juan, Juan de Cesar. And it's incredible because there are 
more than three uh, black conquerors, Spanish black conquerors. And, and I have the pictures, but it's, it's too long to speak from all of them. <laughs> yes, sure. Just a few of them, please. Just a few of them. Okay, I will show a few of them. For example, this, this is Inca, Don Marcos Yupanqui. Uh, th these are uh, governors, uh, Incas governors. Uh, for example, we have here uh, Estebanico. Estebanico helped in some conquer, but he was he was a, a little bit rebel. Then he, he took away. But for example, we have Juan Garcia. This was a conquer, a black conqueror that was with Pizarro. Uh, we have Beltrán de Magaña. Uh, that he was born in Guadalajara, Spain, and he went um, to also to, he was a conqueror. Uh, we have uh, Juan Garrido, there was a, another uh, uh, son of uh, uh, probably an uh, African king. And we have, I have a list here, a big list of, for example, we have the Francisco Arobe and his sons, that were, he was a, a leader, no? In, um, um, it, it was a, like a governor, no? Um, and, and he, I have a lot of uh, people from, also from Filipinas uh, in the Spanish empire. Uh, also, we have uh, different companies of uh, Compañía de Morenos Libres, the free, uh, uh, black people that fight with Spain and they were free. No, uh, we have also Francisco Mendez that was a, a military leader to the for the Spanish uh, Empire, and we have a lot of examples here. It's a long uh, list uh, of people, uh, along etc. Whether you tackle this whole entire issue, historically speaking, or tackle this whole entire issue with the fact that black people can be racist to other people, that racism is not necessarily between black people and white people, this person is clearly just absolutely wrong on every other point that she makes. But uh, what do you guys think about uh, my response? Was I fair? Tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.